Good morning everyone and welcome to part two, hopefully, of the Nottingham trip. So this is Saturday the 22nd? Yes. Yep, Sam's confirmed it's Saturday the 22nd. We're currently just, I'm basically ready, I just need to put my jacket on. It's coming up for 10 o'clock in the morning and we are going to do the caves tour, which... City of Caves. City of Caves, <laughs> I've been being told. Um, so we are going to do that where we go underneath the city centre, basically. Um, as I said at the end of part one, no idea what I can film on this. Haven't got a clue. I am going to film the entrance, though, because we'll be able, I'll be able to film that. Um, we've walked past it when it's been closed, um, but we know how to get there, and it literally takes like 10 minutes. It's so fast. And then after that, we're going to Taco Bell for lunch. It's just Sam's favourite. <laughs> and uh, then we're doing shopping, and then we're having a night out tonight, so there'll be an outfit change and stuff. Need to iron again. And I'll show you how small the ironing board is. Because I don't think I did that in part one, did I? I didn't show how small it was. It's tiny. Oh, no, you didn't. It's like a, it's like a child's ironing board. Anyways, I'm going to flip the camera, apart from, from Sam. <laughs> I'm going to flip the camera around and show you my sort of outfit of the day. I am wearing my Mickey top from the Disney store. I really like this. I've just got grey jeans on. And then I've got my Mickey Vans on. I'll quickly pan up and show you the back of Sam's jumper while she's doing her makeup. She's got a cute Mickey mini jumper on. And she's got a jasmine makeup bag as well. We've just walked into the entrance area, but like... Although this is not a cave <laughs> right now. This is not a cave at all. But we're about to go upwards and in, and we'll figure it out. And uh, yeah, as I say, not sure if we can actually film inside, but... We'll give our review and our thoughts afterwards. Sam is about to show us a well. It's so a well. Yeah. There's money down there. And water as and well. You see where? It used to be. Yeah, well, it's blocked off now. But there's people coming down. <gasps> but yeah, it's like there's just so many random bits. So you could hear water, but I couldn't see any. Yeah. But I can't see it. Sounds like it's going that way. So yeah, but it's just really cool. There's just so many like I can't believe this is like underneath, and it's a big loop. The lady said before we were sent down. Um, but, oh, this is water here. Cesspit. So me and Sam just had to duck. Now Sam had to duck to get through this little gap. So what I'll do is, if she sends me the photo of her, I'll insert the photos on the screen right now so you can see them. We tried to take some cute photos. And when we come round here, we've got, um, so apparently they used to use a lot of animal skin and stuff hide it's just it's what they did back then folks and um, but there's just loads of different ones but if you see here somebody looks like they've stolen the sheepskin and the pig skin <laughs> there's nothing there but um it's cool because they're all different textures i'm guessing this is a replica though right this has to be I don't know. unless i'm touching i think I... it might be raw all right okay <laughs> mm, okay so if i turn around look how cool this looks so we've got railings and other stuff Apologies for my slight delay, um, Sam wanted to film. That's what you get when you've got two vloggers yeah. together. But this is Pillar Cave. And it looks so cool. Amazing. I absolutely love it. It's so cool. And obviously this is, there's water across the ground. And then we've got this cool bridge. Sam was just taking some photos. So this is the tannery vats. Oh, this is cool. Wow. Maybe we should listen to the audio book. <laughs> I, I kind of just get fascinated by looking at it all. But yeah, this is amazing. I wonder how far down it goes. Ooh. We have now made it to the air raid shelters. Say hello, Sam. Hello. <laughs> but look, Disney just finds us everywhere we go. It's like a Disney gas mask for a child. I mean, creepy, but yeah. And you've got all these, I'm guessing these were maybe, do you think these are replicas or from the war? I don't know, might actually be from that. It says, please do not touch, and I think I've touched like three things, so I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, let's see which war this is from. Oh, second, 1943, but yeah. It's crazy, and then it's literally built like an air, or like an air raid shelter. Obviously, you've got like the metal tin and stuff, and you've got posters. 
Just before we leave the air raid shelter, I found this. It's Dr. Carrot, the children's best friend, and I'm not joking. He's so creepy looking. Although I do like Potato Pete. I'm sure he does make a really good soup. We're now just having a little seat on a bench. <laughs> um, but this is obviously when a bomb would obviously have come down and obviously you've got sort of this little set and this is Drury Hill. Um, I'm not entirely sure where the boats we are underneath Nottingham to be honest. Ooh! Spelled on there. Um, oh, it says where we are, we're right there. But yeah. If you listen closely, you can hear the water drip in. It sounds like rain to be honest. But this, we've just listened to the audio guide, we managed to get it back. Yes. This is all real, so it's not a set, it's not made up. This is like where somebody would live, yeah. which is insane. And the same with the room that we were just in, that I think I filmed, they were all real walls from like a pub, like a public house. I think that's what they said. Um, yeah, this is all the slum area, back in the lace trade. That's why it's called the ice water here in Italy. So this is, this is all real, mm -hmm. all real. Everything is completely real and obviously dates back to the, the time of the war. Yeah? I'm sure it's the but war. It's the buildings were destroyed early in the 20th century during the construction of the railway. So yes, I think. So Sam's just over there, listening to the audio. And I've been doing, doing should I say, the Archie's Archaeological Dig for Children. <laughs> you get like a bucket with some, just they're plastic and you're supposed to dig, but I found two bones, but they're obviously fake, they're not real. And just obviously rocks and stuff like that. But yeah, it's kind of cool for kids, but I don't really know how they reach it because it's kind of tall, so yeah. But I think we're basically about the end of the tour. Um, so I'm gonna go and see how Sam's doing. I can take this mask off now because we are going back to the outside world. So we've just left. Sam, what did you think? I thought it was interesting. It wasn't massive, but I liked the World War II shelter thing. That was interesting. I really liked it actually. I kind of, it's not something I would normally do, but because I'm here, I would, I do stuff like this, especially with the Justice Museum yesterday. Check out part one to check out some of that. Um, shameless plug there. Um, but it was, I mean, it was um, a 40 minute audio guide and I believe there's supposed to be actors that are normally down there. Yeah. Like with the Justice Museum, there was three actors you came across and told you about the time period and they were very much in character, which I definitely enjoyed yeah. um, from yesterday. But uh, no, it was really good. But I think we still took 40 minutes. We never listened to the whole, well, I didn't listen to the whole audio. Sam listen had it on her half, phone. Sam listened to about half. We sort of skimmed through, especially when there was something interesting to look at. It was nice to hear about the um, the story and the fact that the props were, not props, they were real. They were real, yeah. They were real, so that was really cool. Um, it was like a big circular um, thing. So we are done now and it's quarter past 11. So we are gonna head up, maybe get on a tram to please Sam. <laughs> she's every time we see a tram she's like tram choo choo she's like a child <laughs> a <mental> <laughs> i said child she's his mental person so you know um <laughs> but we have lovely weather today which is nice it's really sunny outside um and also i've got on my jacket because i've brought it i never worn it once yet so i thought let's put it on today so taco bell next and then we are doing some shopping <laughs> we've made it to taco bell it's been a less than stellar experience so far to be fair they gave my food to somebody else then it took ages, then they missed something off Sam's order. A little bit of a disaster, and it was quite slow for fast food, I thought, anyways. But I'm gonna flip the camera around, but I am gonna pre-warn you, it looks like I have ordered a lot of food. And that's mainly because I have. I'm the kind of person that likes to order, like, cheap things. So these were both off, like, the cheap menu, so we've just got, like, a, this is a beef soft one. We've got um, a taco, I think this is chicken. I ordered large fries, but they gave me two small ones, I think. I got, of course, the cheese sauce. Um, this is a cheesy black bean burrito. That was cheap. And then these are actually cold and more like crisps. These are cinnamon twists. We have just had Taco Bell. It was not as good as Liverpool, I'm not gonna lie, but I enjoyed everything I had. It just wasn't overly warm, but I'm not a complainer. Are you a complainer, Sam? No, so, but yeah, no, the food was, it, it was really good though. Um, and I was jealous of Sam's, um, quesadilla, was it a quesadilla? What was it? Oh, 
chicken and a and a cheese and a supreme thing. The supreme thing then, the flat thing, what's yeah. that? Yeah, it's pretty punch wrap supreme. Yeah, but there's like a big flat hexagon thing. And um, we're currently in Old Market Square and there's this gorgeous building behind us. If you see all of the detail up on the very, very top, which my fingers are not reaching at all. But now we are going to go shopping. So we're going to go to Victoria Square, which is a shopping centre, and um, start there first and then work our way sort of back down. And then to go back to the hotel, Sam's going to get to go on the tram. She's so excited for this tram. So we're just in a shop called Flying Tiger. Sam's about to buy a photo album for all her lovely Lapland photos. I'm just going to do like a quick overview of the store from where we're standing basically at the till. We've got some Christmas bits obviously all reduced, but the store is so cool. We've got like candle wall on the back. There's just lots of like um, kitchen stuff, housey bits, stationery. It's just been a really cool store. Um, and we've got loads of sweets along here. But we've got um, dried apple, little mini biscuits, waffle things look cool, candy floss, humongous marshmallows, fortune cookies, it looks so cool. And little sort of jelly sweeties. And that's Sam telling us to leave the store. Oh, <laughs> We've just been to a couple of shops, haven't we, Sam? What have yeah. you purchased so far? A few little bits. I've got a DVD, Suicide Squad 2. And the photo album. Oh, yeah, for my mum. Photo album for her mum. But we've just been into Yankee and I got a couple of bits in Yankee Candle. But um, I saw this moving thing, so I thought I would show you all, and it's so cool. We just pan up. There we go. And there's a clock on the top of it as well, so how cool is this? And if I just turn around, we'll go past the butterfly because Sam has a butterfly thing. This one is called Love You Babes. Oh my God, the shop's called Love You Babes. But look at it. It looks crazy. Are we going to go in? I think we have to. Let's go in. Let's go in, Love You Babes. What a name. Oh my God. Oh, I love these kind of outfits though. Look, oh, there's a Scottish one. This is so cool. Fish socks, oh, Sam's looking at stockings. I know the socks with oh, socks. around that. Oh, cool. So they look like this. Nothing that. filthy on Disney Match Channel. <laughs> cool. This shop's huge, by the way. Like, look at the size of this. Wow. We've made it to Primark and we stumbled across some Disney stuff quite quickly. <laughs> Although the lady in Boots was lovely. So she nice. loves Disney and she said we brought Disney to her with our face masks and my shoes. It was yeah, really nice. Was and Sam brought Dior Mascara. Dior Mascara. Sam's, Sam's a money lady, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to show you some jumpers and stuff. I, I just, I love the, the sketch. I, like the I love color. the sketch and the uh, green's not my color, but yeah, I don't used to like green. But I actually do quite like yeah. that. We've got this really nice blushy one. It's got E on it. That's cute. We've got poo it's bears over there. Dumbo. The very things that hold you down are going to lift you up. That is so cute. That's really cool. um, we've got this stitch stuff here. Like, how adorable is stitch? Oh, look! And I think there's like. Like joggers, oh, sorry, joggers that go with it and stuff. We need the pig, and the matching, matching joggers, and then we've got like this really sort of classic Mickey design with the joggers as well. That's the Lakers, the Lakers, a uh, nice t shirt, but it's Ten pound for the T-shirt. That's expensive for a T-shirt, right? Oh, Sam, look at this. Now this is showing up a horrible color. Look at the color on camera; it's showing. Oh, nice! It's much pinker, isn't it? It's so pink. Like a blush pink. Yeah, but it's showing up a horrible color. It literally looks cream gray. Yeah, it's not. It's really fluffy and it's a lovely color. And I found out I had a blue in boots and I was well happy. <laughs> I'm so hot at the moment, I wish I was wearing these. <laughs> <laughs> but Sam's got her big fluffy jacket, the only one she brought, so she's taken it off. I do have my... And here's our lovely Disney one on. I found exactly what I was looking for. So I love this sort of knockoff Louis Vuitton style. You've got the little, what's this, over the shoulder bag. I adore these. Yeah, that's 10. You've got this one here, which is, how much is this? 12. Oh. You've got the backpack. Oh my god, that Disney's on upside down. Oh my god. I think this is 14. Yeah. And then I think they had the big version of it somewhere else. Oh yeah, down here. 
Sam, have you seen this? This one is 19. So we've got little sort of pouches, rose gold. Yeah, and then you've got like a backpack that matches this one. I love that you get like a bit on the bottom to put stuff in. I think that's really cool. And then if we come round, where are we going? Round here. We're going inside, they're getting green. We've got the cap, it's like um, sweatshirt material. And that's so cute as well. Like, look at Mickey's little face. Tend to one of these, it's six pounds. You get the phone thing, you get a card holder and pass. And then, I'm not sure what that's for. And a little Coins? Bit. Oh yeah, maybe. It's like six pounds, you get all of that. Yeah. That's cute, isn't it? Treat yourself. We've made it upstairs in Primark to the home section. There's only a couple of Disney stands. Which is maybe good for the bank balance. Yeah. But look at this. It's cute, isn't it? That would be like a really cute um, tea bag thing. Maybe you should get that. Laura should get the tea, wouldn't she? Okay, there you go, Laura. Yeah, Laura maybe. doesn't watch my videos, by the way, so she oh, will she not know. know. <laughs> I have a pick. <laughs> so let's just show you some stuff. So we've got the stitch silicone cake mold, stitch bedding, stitch throw. This is all old stock, though, I think, isn't it, really? Down there. We've got oh, the old knees, uh, Harry Potter. If we just mosey on over here, I like this. So this is really cute. This I think is slightly bigger and that's 10 and I really like this as well. It's like fleecy material yeah, cushion, it's so nice. And then you've just got some tea towels around here that we do not need. Um, cake stand, you've got look, a little cute um, kitchen set. The Minnie Mouse bottle's cute. Five pounds, that's pretty decent. Um, and you've got this really nice Bambi set. It's so aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, I do like the Bambi set. And then this cute Lady in the Tramp water bottle. Adorbs. Bambi bed on the bottom. Oh, I oh, need the poo one. Oh, I like it. Look how cute. It feels really soft as well, actually. And a troll's cup. We are now out of Primark. It is so busy. This is a tiny sneak peek. Um, and there's a sneak peek at Sam's, but Sam's videos are going to be up way before mine anyways. And she also got something in uh, HMV as well. We've got this place over here called the Hasty Tasty Pizza. We are literally sitting in front of Primark. Um, there's something called the Exchange. Do we know what the Exchange is, Sam? No, we don't know. Sam says no. Sam, what are we waiting for? She's so excited. We're literally going two stops. We've got an all-day pass and we ride all day. Yeah, so it was 250 for one journey or 440 for all day. So we'll basically use it to come back up here later on. Because are we going back to the hotel now? Yeah. Yeah. We need to dump our shopping whatever we do. We yes. can always get the tram back. So we have a day to fit. Yes, we can get the tram back up later. So um oh, the football's just The football's out just got out and there's police everywhere. There was like one of those um police vans with like the is that what you have to call it? Yeah, meat wagon. Guys, right? That. <laughs> <laughs> they call it the meat wagon. I work in the meat I know what they're doing. So we're literally going to get on the tram, but we are going left, basically. Sam, we're on the tram. <laughs> Although I'm standing up going backwards and I don't like it. <laughs> All the policemen out there, look. Oh, oh no, the poster's in the way. Hold on. Look at all those people. In fairness, we haven't saw anybody being bad or anything like that. Pubs it's busy. just in case, but the pubs are super busy. I did not realise that the tram station for Nottingham Station was up above the ground. <laughs> because look, there's the train station. Well, some of the train station. And if you can see that building in the background, that's our hotel. So we now need to get downstairs because we're going to pop to Tesco. Tesco. There's a Tesco Express. And of course, because I work for Tesco, it's 10% discount. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have been in the room for about three, three hours, probably. I can't remember. Like, yeah. Like we got back at four-ish and it's now 20 to eight. Yeah, at least. Oh my God, we should go. We have. So we are definitely going out now. Um, we are, we had some chill time, relaxed. Sam got ready. I am in, I'll try and show you this. So I've got my Mickey t-shirt on that Emma got me for Christmas. This is a slightly fleecy shirt from Primark. I've got my brand new black jeans on and I've just got my Primark trainers. Um, Sam is in this lovely floaty black dress and some little ankle boots. Yes. 
Um, and we are going, first of all, slightly off the city centre to... The old trip to Jerusalem. It's the oldest pub in England, apparently, mm -hmm. and it's got caves and it's haunted. Can't wait to make some new ghosty friends. Not. <laughs> um, so we're going to head out that way. And then we also got the all-day tram ticket. So if there's a tram stop near there, we'll go back into the city centre. That is the plan. So I will take you along with us. And we've also had a whole bottle of Asti between us as well. So start as you mean to go on, folks. We have arrived. It's not the oldest pub. It's the oldest inn. But it looks so cute. And I think it's... It must go into this, like, rock side, right? So that must be the cavey part. Um, but it looks so cute. Can't wait to go inside. I got a vodka diet coke. Sam got a large glass of Pinot Grigio. We are in a little corner. So you came round this way. The bar's kind of in like three parts. Um, it's really quirky in here. But what I'll do is I'll pan round and we are actually sitting in the cave section. And the ground is so not even at all. Like my chair just rocks backwards and forwards. Um, but it's really cool in here. This feels kind of like the lost day. <laughs> Our night last night was, um, it was good. We got in at what time? Like five, 5 a.m. You can probably still hear it in my voice, um, but it was a good night. Um, today we did go a little walk and we had, um, we went to Greg's or something to eat. Um, but yeah. Sam's been a little bit hungover and I've been feeling a bit poo as well. Ugh, but we're gonna basically get up. It's 4, 4 p.m. by the way. <laughs> but we're gonna get up and we're just gonna go to uh, Wotherspoons and have something to eat there. Um, and then come back and have our little chill pamper night um, with our face masks and stuff. Um, and just have a nice chilled, calm, last evening just a little outfit before we leave so this is um a top i actually got for five pounds in river island with a voucher hood i've just got my blue jeans on and my light shoes that are a little bit dirty actually i'm not quite sure how that happened but uh yeah we're ready to go out and i probably look really tired and i feel it as well <laughs> um sam do you want to model what you're wearing my love oh my makeup excuse me my makeup black jeans grey jumper yay <laughs> So we have made it into Wotherspoons and Sam has a steak with baked potato. We're going healthy. We've got the onion rings, the veg, all good. <laughs> Matthew, on the other hand, went for a small pizza, ham mushroom and loaded fries. <laughs> I need this food. I feel horrific. We have been back from Spoons for, oh, over an hour, maybe two, I think, a couple of hours. Um, we literally just had the food and then came back. Um, hangover is still in full effect. Um, we've just obviously put our foot packs on. I'm using the honey and almond one, and Sam has the argan oil one, although it needed scissors, so we had to like rip them apart to get them on. Um, but yeah, it's gonna hopefully make our feet feel lovely and smooth. Are we gonna do the face masks yeah, as well? Well, after the... After the foot, after the foot thing. I don't wanna do both at the same time. Well, your skin's dehydrated from drinking. And Sam's never used a foot pack before, so Sam, what do you think of it? It feels squidgy. <laughs> Hi. I'm just <laughs> putting it on now. <laughs> we did the booties, the little feet pack. When I've got face mask on, it's so cold. This is just a normal one. It's not a crazy design, um, but it should hopefully hydrate the skin. Sam's also lying down with hers on as well. Um... Oh, there she is. <laughs> um, I've just been eating some mini eggs. And I've got water and Pepsi Max with cherry. <sighs> Lovely. Welcome to the very last morning. It's currently about, just gone nine o'clock, maybe like 9.15. Um, our trains, oh, as I'm leaning against the window, so they're not for about three hours. Um, mine's is 12.16, Sam's is 12.12. 12. Um, I will give you a quick overview of the room, but first I'm going to show you my purchases from the trip because it's not enough for a haul. I did a haul for Liverpool, but this is not enough for a haul, so I'm just going to show you all right now, um, all the little bits that I got while I was here. This is one of the main purchases I wanted to make, and this is of course from Primark, and it's this Donald Duck, sort of fake Louis Vuitton style bag. 
and it was 12. Sam got the smaller version. Um, it's just got a flap and it's just there on the inside and there's a little pouch there. I did try it on and I thought it looked all right, so hopefully I won't look too ridiculous with it, but um, and the strap seemed long enough as well. These two things here are for Laura. Um, so this is a little um, tea bag holder thing. This was three pounds and she just got one of the Yankee Candle center pieces. So I got her the clean cotton one to go in it. And that's basically like a thank you for looking after my cat while I'm away. From the Justice Museum, I got the magnet, which was like two quid, I think. And then this cute little love badge for 50p that I will put on my backpack once this is filmed. HMV, I picked up Little Mix's Greatest Hits album. This was $13.99, and you get all those songs on it. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, can't wait to put that on. In Yankee Candle for myself, I picked up the Christmas Eve tea lights. I love these. These are my, it's my favorite Christmas fragrance from Yankee anyways. And this was half price. These were $3.50 instead of seven. And then I got these. This is my favorite non-Christmas fragrance soft blanket and I just got the two little votives and they were under two pound a piece so I got a couple of them and then finally my friend Shannon is having a baby girl um, in April and I got the three to six month size um, and this was nine pound I think nine and it's just this little cute pink sort of springtime summery dress and it is um, like a baby girl underneath as well and then, of course, I had to get the sort of little Minnie Mouse blanket comforter thing. Minnie Mouse looks a bit weird, but um, this was £4. Um, and that was everything that I purchased in Nottingham. So, as you can see, nowhere near as much as Liverpool, but I'm um, happy with what I got. I missed a purchase. I went to L'Occitane, um, and the guy was really nice and friendly in there, and he even spritzed the tissue before he put it in the bag. And it still actually smells it's so cool and um, so i picked up the sensitive or the intensive hand balm for very dry skin this is 25 percent shea butter i think it's the strongest one they do and um, it's not in the metal tube like normal it's plastic because it's the slightly smaller size this is 50 mils this was 16.50 but I tried it in the shop and at my work, my hands just get destroyed so much. So that was that. Right, it's time for a quick whiz round of the room. So I've got my backpack in the corner. This was my single bed with all the stuff on it that you just saw me film. I let Sam have the double bed and this is Sam's stuff here. If I just turn around, we've got the desk area. Well, more like dressing table sort of. Um, we did get the kettle, the sort of tea, coffee. They don't come and clean the room the whole time you're here, which was a little bit disappointing, but that's why the mugs are dirty, because we have used them. Um, leftover little cocktail cans. We've got the bin bags under here. This area was quite good for sort of holding stuff. Um, TV, uh, big mirror as well. This did have a hairdryer in it. Oh, it's here. Oh, Sam's got the hairdryer so there. Do it in a Sam's gonna dry her hair. Mm -hmm. Um, it's one of those slowly closing ones. Got another sort of full length mirror. Some artwork, which I now think is the castle. Place to put your bag. You've got an iron, an ironing board, and you've got some hangers there with some more storage space. Bathroom has obviously been used. <laughs> got my stuff here. Another mirror. Sink, another shelf. Towels, shower, and then you do have your stuff included but they are of course attached to the wall and then the hand soap one was here and the toilet's just tucked behind the door and now i've showed you the room and my purchases that is me about to vlog off for the end of this trip but i do have sam with me right now so Hello. i'm just kind of moving a little bit um so we're gonna do like a little final thoughts on the trip and what your favorite thing mm. was or maybe favorite day maybe not yesterday but uh nice what did you like the most about the trip what was your favorite um thing? i actually really enjoyed the justice museum <laughs> like i actually really enjoyed that because i work in criminal defense i work with courts and stuff so it was quite interesting like the history and that for me um and i love bottoms brunch and the pain pendulum the rock bar obviously <laughs> i i actually quite like the caves 
it could have been a bit longer, but I quite like the caves. Mm -hmm. Loved bottomless brunch, the food was good. Um, we drank a few cocktails and I showed quite a bit, I think. We showed each cocktail, I think, in there too. Yeah. So, yeah, and um, Pit and Pendulum was fine, actually. It was actually all right. We, stayed to, we, we sat in like, the same area both times when we were in. Yeah. We went in yeah. twice. Um, and it wasn't too badly priced. And I tried to show how you get to the toilets if the footage was okay. It will, of course, have been in part one, but um, I tried. Oh, well, Yanis as really well tried. was really good. The Greek restaurant. That feels like so long ago now. It does. Yeah. It does, we, but that was good. We had the set menu that you would have seen that would have, mm. that would have been in part one. Um, I'll, of course, link each part below each part if that makes any sense um, but yeah it, we had the set menu and it was the best way to try everything and there was a review afterwards yeah yeah we did a review did a review afterwards yeah. too so um yeah that's it that's it and that's us signing out for another trip another matt and sam city break <laughs> hopefully more to come <laughs> <laughs> do you want to say bye before i bye to all of disney matt's followers <laughs> we'll see you soon <laughs> And yeah, that is it. I hope you've enjoyed um, Lottingham, both parts. There will definitely have been two parts. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please do give it a big thumbs up for me. Comment down below, I don't know, maybe about one of my purchases or something that you enjoyed about the trip. Um, don't forget to hit the big, the big red subscribe button down below and tinkle that bell so you're notified when a video goes live as well. And that's it. I've been Disney Matt. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.